Dude, I don't know. It's supposed to be a no-glow camera. I don't know what's going on. Why is this camera picking up my other camera flashing? I thought it was a black flash. If you could see the flash from your black flash trail camera, what the heck is going on? Well, it really boils down to two scenarios. You obviously don't have a black flash trail camera, or you have two cameras in close proximity to one another, and one camera is just picking up the other camera's flash. Black flash, no glow, invisible glow, blackout, all these terms just refer to a flash unit that is operating on a 940 nanometer wavelength. It's invisible to humans, it's invisible to mammals. Whitetails have dichromatic vision. They see yellow and blue colors with everything else being black, white, and gray. Blue colors fall in the 430 to 520 nanometer wavelengths, while yellow falls in between 565 to 580. So theoretically, if your trail camera is not putting out light in those wavelengths, deer are not seeing it, or at least they're not seeing it the way we see it. Now, let's pull it back to trail cameras. You have three basic categories of flash types in trail cameras, white, red, Black. White flash trail cameras give you an actual flash. Hobbyist folks really seem to gravitate towards these types of cameras because they give you nighttime images and videos in color. When you look at the wavelengths of light emitted from these cameras, it's on the lower end of the UV spectrum, coming in at approximately 300 nanometers. Red flash cameras, also known as IR cameras, include any bulb that's gonna put out or emit light somewhere between 600 to 750 nanometers. On the lower end of that wavelength, the light's more visible. As you creep into that that upper side at 750 plus, that light becomes less visible. Black flash, also known as invisible flash, blackout, no glow, whatever the heck you wanna call these things, they're all describing flash units that are operating with an LED at 940 nanometers. And the important thing here is that no mammals can see light at that wavelength. Only reptiles and amphibians can actually see that far into the infrared spectrum. So you're probably wondering how the heck a trail camera can capture light and take a photo with light that's invisible to the human eye. Well, there's specific pieces of hardware inside the camera, such as an IR filter, that allows the camera to operate and capture that light to take an actual photo, or your camera has a dual image sensor set up where you have a dedicated nighttime sensor and a dedicated daytime sensor. If you could see the flash from your blackout camera, it really boils down to two scenarios. Scenario one, if you could see the flash with your naked eye, you obviously don't have a 940 nanometer flash unit, but don't get this confused with the faint red glow that happens before the actual flash. A lot of times when these LEDs first power up, they're gonna emit a small frequency of light that is kind of outside the range of where they're operating. That's pretty normal don't freak out. Scenario two, you have two cameras in close proximity where one camera is picking up the other camera's flash. And it sounds kind of weird at first, but when you think about how cameras operate with a flash unit and the IR filter, it makes total sense. If you find yourself in either scenario, don't panic. You're not spooking deer. The wool hasn't been pulled over your eyes. What you are experiencing is totally normal in the trail camera world.